Hey YouTube, what's up? So I'm back again with another video. And today, we is actually about to do a makeup look. Um, the palette that I'm going to use is from BH Cosmetics. It's the Carly Bio Bado. Bi it's this palette right here. I got it from Ulta for like 14 bucks. Um, I don't know if that's how much it costs at, like, on BH Cosmetics, but I got it. I'm just going to buy it, but I was like, it's got my colors in it. Sorry. It's got my favorite burgundy colors. It's got a bunch of gold colors that I can just fuck with. Um... To put that down right now. So I did um, cleanse my face with a towelette before I did this video, and I got rid of my brows. My brows are ugly. I still got the wipey right here. I think I need to get more of this one off. Cause I did my. I went to work and I just did my brows. Cause I'm not about to go to work without my brows done. It's not happening. People, the boys at my job really think that my brows are real. They're not. They look like this on a regular basis when I'm not wearing makeup. Let me take my gum out of my mouth so you guys aren't seeing something floating in my mouth all the time. Alright. My gum did taste good though. Okay, so then I'm actually going to use two different kind of blenders in this video. Um, I got the regular beauty blender. The black one. Um, I think this one came with my Kat Von D foundation, which I was pissed because I bought it. And then, like, a couple of months later, it broke. Sorry if you hear that little noise. That's my boyfriend messaging me. I love him so much. <laughs> but, yes, um, this is a real beauty blender. Don't be telling me no, it's not. It's just super fucking dirty right now um and then I went ahead and bought one of the silicone ones and I got a blue one and I got it from Violet Boss it's kind of shiny I knew I should have got the different color packaging it says Violet Boss and it's called the perfect weapon that's what it says on the back of this but it's dirty yeah it's called the perfect weapon silicone applicator um I got the ones I got this blue one I got a pink one and I got a clear one um I decided I was going to use the blue one first um the clear one has like a little slit through it so I don't know if I can still use it it's kind of sticky when I touch it um like, I've used this already, so it's not like I can give you guys, like, a review on it or anything. Um, I like it to a certain point. Like, I have my nose ring. I can't go around that with this unless I just pat it. But then my nose ring will kind of feel funny. And then there'll be foundation stuck around my nose ring. I don't want that. And then I can't get under my eyes this is the best I can get and sometimes I want to get like right up in here and then I at the same time I don't even know if I'm using this right like I've seen people just dragging the foundation down their face and then when they do that they pat it in so that's what I was doing and then I seen somebody um, do a circular motion on her face but I don't know I'm just going to do it however I want. If you guys see that I'm doing it the wrong way or anything, just let me know. Um, okay. So, to get what I'm going to start off with, I'm going to do my brows first. Um, I'm not doing the whole nine yards. I'm just going to put powder on my, face, on my brows today because... Um, when I do them normally, I use a bunch of different stuff. And I don't want to be that long doing my brows. And I feel like I look like a little boy right now with my hair up. Alright, so don't make fun of this. But 
what I'm gonna use as a powder um this thing has been with me through thick and thin like this thing is like damaged really damaged but it still has some product in it well the one that I do use still has some product in it I did hit pan so when I'm done with it I'll just probably buy um the Anastasia Ripley Hills powder but until then I'm gonna use all this up like I'm not gonna not let that just sit there and not use it but um I don't even have it don't it's not even close it's like wide open which is probably bad for makeup but I don't care I'm still gonna use it um and what I'm about to use is from that's what it looks like this is from Makeup Revolution is the Ultra Brow Palette Fair to Medium Color. That's what I use. And this one right here is the one that I use. This one looks like I'm using it, but like one day I was doing my brows and my fingernail just dug into it. And then ever since it's been just falling apart ever since. And then these are like creams. Yeah, I've dug into those too with my fingers. And they're dirty. I don't use those. This used to be a cream that I could use to fix my brows. Um, there's some in it on the corners. I do not use it. I use concealer. And this big old thing right here is a highlight for your brows, which I used to use. I don't really use them now. But yes. Okay, so I'm going to be looking like this. Um, hopefully you guys can see my mirror. This is my mirror right here. Um, Alright, let's get started. Um, the brush I'm going to use for my brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 7 brush. Oh, can you see it? Can you see the writing on it? Yeah, it's the number 7. It has a spoolie and the little angle that's really thin. I like the thinness. Somebody was like, I don't know how you're doing it. I'm doing it. That's what I'm doing. Alright, so we're going to get started. Oh, my brows. Um, I'm trying to let my brows grow out. I don't know if you can see some hair right here. Um, so, I'm going to do them as best as I can. And... We'll see. Because sometimes I mess up on my brows and I just be like, fuck it. I'm leaving the house looking like this. But. Um. It depends today if that's what's going to happen. Um. I always start with the. The outer part of my brows. And then work my way towards. In. So. I start at the bottom of them though. Trace them. Usually I would use a pencil for this. But today, I'm not. I'm just using powder because this makeup look is not going to stay on me today because it's raining. I'm not going outside. I don't fuck with the rain. I hate rain. Um, so when I do my brows, you know, when I'm just doing them with powder, um, I just try to do my best. Like, your brows do not need to be looking alike. If your brows do look alike, though, like, whoever does your brows or if you do them yourself, you need to come to me and do my brows for me. Because I have some tips. Because my brows be looking nasty. Like, really nasty. So, I just don't want to be sitting here talking to you guys all like doing my makeup and being silent so I'm going to be re repeating the same stuff over and over and over again oh, crap I just made a little mess on my forehead I feel like I still have makeup on my skin oh well so you know sometimes just wearing powder is really good though cause um I was reading an article um on YouTube no not what YouTube um Facebook and they were talking about how like using like um like creams how it gets stuck to your um your 
um, brow hair and how like with it getting stuck your your hair the po the hair particle product pro particle or whatever it's called um underneath that hair it will get um bacteria and getting hair in your but in your getting bacteria where your brows are is probably not a good thing but I don't know if it's true or not like it was just something I read. It was like, please read this. I don't think I've heard about anybody saying, oh, yeah, that's what I got. I'm about to try to spoolie this. It's like, it's like super dark right here. I don't look super dark when I'm looking at it right now. I don't know. I hate my brows. I just need to hurry up and finish them so we can keep on going because we're hitting 11 minutes. So if you don't like that little piece right there, I'm sorry. Nothing I can really tell you. Um, I always hate doing this eye. Like this eye. Like the eyebrow and this eye. Period hate doing it but I'm doing it for you guys I always feel uncomfortable doing it like I'm not gonna do my brows right or anything that's why I'm kind of holding it up stuff so I can make sure I'm getting it because I feel like I'm gonna mess up Um, so sometimes when I do my brows though, like I be using like the Anastasia Dip Brow and that I don't use a lot of product in but powder I do because the Dip Brow stuff will go a long way but powder I, I feel like it takes like a lot. To do I just want to hurry up and get done with my brows this is why I hate them See, I can see like the parts that are not good on my phone, but it's like so hard with all this light. Alright, I guess I'm good. Fuck it. Um, to clean up my brows, I'm gonna use my concealer. One of my favorites. This is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And the color is 15 Fair. I'm just going to add a little bit to my palm. I don't know what this is on my, my hand. Just a little bit. I don't need a lot. If I need more, I will fix it. I'm about to clean up my brows real fast. Try to do the best that I can do. To clean up my brows. I don't really care about my brows right now. Like, if I was going somewhere, then I'd be like, yeah, you guys are going to stay here and watch me do it step by step. I'm not really going anywhere. I just thought I would do a makeup look for you guys. Try to get some more videos up so I can get people following me and stuff like that. Um. So, yeah. Um, I go all around my brow when I'm cleaning it people will be like why do you even go on top of doing your brow because my brows look ugly and stuck and I need to clean them and then I'll take my booty powder and I'll just, just dab it damn I'm so stupid 
I don't even like that song. Like, that song is so stupid. Um, my mom used to like it. And it was so funny because I would be riding with my mom going somewhere. Like, maybe, like, to, like, a store, like, Walmart or something to get something. And she would randomly just do the dab. And I'm like, girl, you're, like, almost 50. But, hey, if you like to do whatever you like to do, then, yes. Go do you, boo boo. Um, I do use this to clean my brows too. Um, this is the part that I hate because I feel like I'm gonna get in the middle of my brow and mess it up. Like I always do. I think I did okay. Maybe I'll just use you guys. My camera is like my fixture. There we go. And then I'm gonna fix the front a little. There we go. And just beat my face with my my beauty blender. I really look white right now. Like I look washed out to the max. Alright, so this is my crazy eyebrow look okay so now I'm about to do my eyes and I do not have a primer that I'm going to use for my eyes but I am going to put a moisturizer on my face and I'm going to use the Neutrogena the Neutrogena water the water gel has FBF 15 in it. I'm only going to take like two pumps. Because I want to make sure it gets on my eyelid too. So. Yes, I like to make sure my eyelids have like some sort of like um like some sort of like hydration to them before I put any kind of like product on my face or on my eyes because one time I didn't do it and I went the longest time wearing makeup um I didn't go to sleep that one day and then my I still have my makeup on my face surprisingly it's, it stayed it held out really good but um, my eyelids were feeling like super dry so ever since then I've been just using like some kind of like um, moisture like I use I'm going to use the Neutrogena one too it's like a green one you'll probably see me use it in some other videos sometime soon alright so let's get started Dipping into this palette. Um, I have used this palette before. I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do. I haven't used this palette in a while. Last time I used it, I used it on my best friend when during Christmas time. Okay, so I'm going to put this color right here all over my eyelid. Um, my brushes that I use, they're nothing special. I buy random brushes all the time. And honestly, my best friend, she bought me um, these brushes that came from Rite Aid. They were in like a little tube. And honestly, they were like almost like the best brushes that I've ever used like honestly like one of the best brushes that I have Morphe is like one of my favorites but I'm about to use the Rite Aid brush that she gave me it's an old busted up dirty one actually I think I'm going to be using all like Rite Aid brand um, eyeshadow brushes 
that I've got for like Christmas from my best friends. I even purchased um one. I bought the smudger one. Because I bought a Morphe smudger brush. And I did not really like it. Um, it was too big. That's why. So I, so I stuck with these. I mean, hey, if it works, then I guess that's all that matters. Um, the blending brush that I do have, the only thing is, is that I wish it was more like soft. It's kind of like it's soft. This is what it looks like. It's soft. Oh, you can see that all that product come out. I know my brushes are dirty. It's soft and everything. But I wish it was more soft. If you get what I'm saying. Because sometimes I catch it like it's like not blending too well. But so far it's been doing the job. I mean, I can't complain. I think I only paid like five bucks for this. But, alright. The next color that I'm about to dip into... Um, is this one right here? And I'm about to put that like, like kind of under my brow bone, kind of into the crease as well, if you get what I'm saying. And I want this to kind of come off as like a dark color. I think I am going to put it all the way up to the brow bone. So that way when I put the highlight, it's kind of like not that super light, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I just, like, honestly when I look at this palette, like I see only one look out of this palette. Um, I mean, there's like, there's like one, two, three, four, five, five foil colors, and there's like four, um, four matte colors, and then there's like a super dark brown, but that's got a little bit of glitter in it. It does not look like a foil color, though. It just looks like a, yeah. It's weird. And then the highlight parts of this palette is like my favorite part. But I don't know if I'm going to use one of her highlights. Not 100% sure if I'm going to use one in her look. Why not though? It would be cool because I'm already doing her eyeshadow. I mean if you guys have like already like used this palette and got like the idea from it then I want to see your guys look I want to see them um, because I looked up I looked up like what she has for her palette and it's okay alright so now I'm going to take the light maroon color that's right here you can see it it's the one I'm about to use I'm put that in my crease um some people say I do my cut my cut creases kind of funny but like I see how people do them and I don't like them like that so I bring mine down and then I'll put them out like kind of like I'm doing a wing from that color. That's how I like it. I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm showing you guys how I like to do my makeup. I'm not trying to copy off anybody. Oh, like, oh, you know, I'm going to copy off of this person's look, but I'm going to call it my own. No, um, I'm not about to do that. I'm just about to show you guys how I like to do them. Um, people like to keep, leave it to like right here and then go out. No, I'm not doing that. 
I'm just about to do it the way I like to do them. And it's so funny because you guys cannot see right now. This lighting is horrible. See, that's dark as fuck. I need this light. Maybe if I keep it more down. Can you see? I don't know. I know, but the lighting is so horrible. Like, um, it's bad. I really hate it. I, I told myself that I wasn't going to do a YouTube until I got like an actual camera that will film me. And I, I just couldn't wait. I wanted you guys. I wanted to start my YouTube the way I wanted to start it. Because I was being impatient. Like it was so bad that like I was practicing while I was doing my makeup. But I wasn't recording myself. Like I was just like talking. Like that's what I was doing. Like, I was already, like, on YouTube. And, like, my boyfriend, he was like, you need to do it. And I was just like, okay, I'm doing it. Fuck it. Why not? I low-key wish I had my chapstick right here because my lips are feeling a little dry. Alright, so now I'm about to dip into the darker color that's right here I don't know why on my phone this looks like it kind of looked green but I don't know maybe it's me being stupid so I'm about to put this on the outer side of my eye um this is where my smudger brush will come in, but I don't want to do it that way this time. I just want to make it dark in the crease a little and then blend it outwards. Yeah, you guys cannot even see it. That's crazy. This makes me angry. I don't wanna like not redo my look. Like I've started this tried to start this video like four times already and something messed me up. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of my setting spray on to this pretty color up here this rosy color right here I'm about to just spray my brush in spray the shadow I spread matte color instead by accident mm. oh well oh dry it fell on the floor Right, so I just packed it on here, packed it on there real good, and I'm just gonna pat it in on the lid. Um, I like these eyeshadows when they're wet. They're okay when they're dry, but with them being wet, I love it. And there you go. That's what that looks like. I'm not quite 100% finished with my eye look. I wait until these dry to put any kind of eyeliner over them. But yes, that's what that looks like. You can tell that I got color. But you can't really tell because there's too much light. 
this out good. I did use her palette. Um, now we're gonna get ready for my face. I did moisturize my face. You guys seen before I did my eye look. Um, the way I do my foundation is kind of weird. Um, I'm using a new foundation. The foundation I am using is the L'Oreal Paris Infedible Total Coverage. And it is in 303 Nude Beige. And I take a flat top elf brush. This is dirty from all the foundation that I use. So I'm going to take that. Honestly, all these foundations from L'Oreal, like the Infatible Matte and the Pro Glow. Pro Glow, there you go. I wish came in like a tube like this. This is so cool. And I'm just going to apply it all over my brush. Don't really need a lot. And then I'm going to take stuff where to make my stuff look glowy. And what else I'm going to add to this is my Hard Candy Sheer Glow All The Way Blushing ba Babe Soft Glow Illuminator. And that's what that looks like. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this. There you go. But that's not all. I want more shininess to my face. I want to be look like I'm glowing. Like I want people to be like, girl, are you pregnant? Because people have told me that too before. They're like, girl, are you glowing? So I'm going to add a couple dots. Can even tell you what this is. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Finishing Primer. Um, on the back of this primer, it says that you can use the primer or just wear it on your face, or mix it in with your foundation. And I'm, I'm mixing it, and I put a lot of this on my um, brush. So that's what my brush looks like. And instead of like rubbing it in right away. What I do is I just dab it on my face. So, it looks like I have like a bunch of weird stuff on my face. Right now. And then when it's like gone basically off the brush, I brush it in. I'm trying to avoid my um, nose ring that I have. Because my nose ring, I don't want foundation on it. Which I think I did hit the foundation on the brush. Alright, so I'm about to use this. And um, right now I'm just going to drag some foundation in some parts where I didn't get it. And I know I already dragged like foundation like through um, my face with my brush. I'm going to do it again, and then I'm going to pat everything. And stuff. Um. Now my face looks extra fucking washy. Like, washed out. Maybe if I sit back some. I'm using you guys as my mirror. It's my funny, my mirror is right there and I'm using you guys as my mirror. Although I guess it's good because I'm keeping like a good eye contact. I need practice anyways. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to pat it as best as I can. And then I will use my beauty blender as well. Just gonna pat as much as I can. I know this is like the most boringest part of the whole video. I'm just patting it, patting it, and patting it. 
if you guys have seen any color ones let me know because i want to know if they have any other ones besides clear and the ones that by the boss use now i'm going in with my beauty blender honestly like i prefer my beauty blender over like the secret weapon or the perfect weapon that's what violet boss calls it um yeah he's, i prefer my beauty blender over this any day because i feel like it helps more Alright, so I'm about to use my concealer again. Maybelline Fit Me. You already know. Use it to clean my brows. I just put lines underneath my eye. Nothing special. I'm looking kind of like tribal-ish. My boyfriend watched me do this and he was like, Girl. You looking extra tribal looking. And I got like a red spot right here on my nose that I need to get covered. And then I do an arrow on my forehead. And this is where my boyfriend loved to make fun of me. He was like, you look like the next airbender. Nobody watches that shit. So I'm going to use this instead of my perfect weapon. Beauty blender always comes through. Plus I'm in a hurry. Because I don't want to make this this video like a 40 minute video it's already like a 37 30 minute video and just make sure you blend in it blend real good this is only going to be a long video because um, I don't have like a video editor where I can make this part go really fast. So if I did my my um, brows would have went that fast too when I did them because that took up a long time. Alright. So now that I did that, now I got to set it. I'm about to look like a crackhead. I know what people say about it. Um, I'm about to use my original formula airspun loose face powder. You know, a lot of people use this. And I'm not gonna use a lot like people use. I'm gonna use a little bit. Because my face looks really cakey when I use this. So. I don't want to use a lot. And if you're hearing like a lot of noise in this video. It's because it's raining outside and it's blowing like the trees. And stuff. I put some right here just to because I'm going to do my contour next and that's what I'm going to use to help my contour and for my contour I'm going to use the City Color Contour Effects Palette and the two colors that I'm going to use is this one and this one this kind of looks like an orange but it just is bronze this is the highlight that they I do not use they put in this palette although when I put it on my skin though it's like so beautiful like let me put it on my palm not on my fucking arm can you see that shininess 
compare it to my skin tone? I don't know. You probably can't. Alright, so I'm about to dip into this. And, um, the funny part is, people, you'll be using, like, a slanted, um, brush. I don't. So the brush I'm about to use is this round one for my contour. Um, this I got from Walgreens. It was um, a brush for like their um, I forgot. It's just a brush that I got from Walgreens. It's from the Evil Queen collection, if you know what I mean. It's like a book. Like the Disney characters. There you go. Give you a big hit. I don't know what they're really called. So I'm going to do under my chin. First. Oops. Crap. Kind of messed up there. There you go. Under my chin. There you go. And although this product is like sitting there right now, like sitting on my face, um, I'm, I do blend it in. About to put this on my hairline. You can't even really see this ether. That sucks. I need a different light for recording. I dip back and forth between these two colors. So if you wondering. Alright, so now I'm about to do the fishy paste the fish when you do the fishy face that's how you will know that you're getting your cheekbones so here I go and I start from the top of my ear going down towards my lip kind of but I don't do a whole one I stop like right here see that's that contour I'm gonna blend it in when I'm done There you go. And I'm going to take a whole new brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's like a, another kind of round brush, but kind of like a flat top looking one. So I'm going to blend in my contour. And then that's why my contour will most likely get a little bit bigger. Fuck. Um... I want to use a blush, but I don't know what kind I would use. See, my face looks really white between my chest and my arms. Like, that's sad and crazy at the same time. Alright, so now I'm about to use this brush to get rid of that excess powder that I have. And clean up my contour with the powder that I left right here. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of a different kind of bronzer to my face to darken my face up. I got something in my eye. That was disgusting. Sorry, I guys showed you my eye. Um, To darken up my skin tone a little because I'm looking a little washed out. 
Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the light bronzer. I want to get the dark one. I love this stuff. It smells like the beach. Uh, it's winter time here in Buffalo and I'm about to smell like a beach. This video is about to be like an hour long. I'm talking too much. And I'm about to just add this like underneath my eyes. Taking out my little skin tone. Just a little bit. And I'm sorry. But I'm going to cut this video off short. And make a part two. Because this video is way too long. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Doses.